Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Just even far away. See the shimmer on that? Hey, it's Nisha. I won an auction on eBay. I got some great jewelry, so let's go take a look. All right. Ooh, okay. All right. Envelope can go away. And then, oh, two extra. Okay, excellent. I like that. Excellent packing. Oh, wow. Look at that. They're all individually wrapped. Okay, cool. I love that. Fantastic. All right. Let's take a look. Super well wrapped. Oh, that's really pretty. I like the way that looks. Little wearing on the rhinestone there in the center. It's funny, on the back, it looks like a, a design from the 1960s. I'm not sure if that clasp was replaced or not. Really pretty piece. Okay, cool. All right. What else do we have in here? <laughs> Definitely well packed. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is fabulous. Oh, look at that. Very classic starburst, sunburst design from the 1960 mid-century modern. It has uh, the represe technique, which is where they take metal and they hammer it into a harder surface with a pattern. So you can see the indentation on the back here. Okay, great piece. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, this is really pretty, too. Has prong set rhinestones. Nice shimmer to it. Definitely vintage. Um, we have the grommets going on in the back, so that, that's these little sections right here which tells us it could be from the 1960s uh, layered technique. So we have the grommets and the, the section right through here, which gives us that um, pattern here, the floral pattern on front. That's really pretty. Oh, okay, this one came out. Oh, look at that. It's almost like a swirly starburst with uh, green rhinestones. Now this is a reproduction, so we're gonna look at the bag. You see all that texture on there? That, that was my first clue that it was a reproduction. And then the pin doesn't stick out through the end here. And the color of it, the silver tone color here, is different than in vintage pieces. This is very shiny, which it looks great, uh, but it just has a different uh, color, a different look to it than um, vintage pieces. All right, pretty. Okay, I wanna be kind of careful with these. We don't wanna pop out a rhinestone. Oh yeah, this is really nice imitation uh, pearls on the outside with a prong set uh, red color rhinestone 
And then we have the lovely grommet there in the center. Definitely a starburst, stunburst type of piece. It's even like a snowflake shape. Looks great. All right. I'm sensing a theme. <laughs> Okay. All right, cool. Oh, yeah, this is really, really pretty. Wow. Okay, this is nice. Okay, so I'm just going to put the pin back in the uh, clasp here. All right, so we have the represe technique on this section of the metal. Then we have um, the set rhinestones right through here. I'm not sure what kind of setting that's called when you set them into the metal like that. Maybe cabochon? I'm not sure. Um, but it has a great look to it. Kind of like a snowflake look. All right, cool. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Kind of like a swirl, snowflake, rhinestones with that setting, which I don't know what it is. <laughs> And then we do have a little bit of damage here. I'll see if I can show you. See how the clasp right here is bent and then the bar is slightly bent. Uh, let's just take a quick look at it and see if we can... Okay, no, I'm going to need my pliers. Uh, see if we can get it to work. Well, actually, I got it to work. See? All right. All right, good to go. All right, great piece. Look at that nice statement piece. Oh, okay. So really nice look with the prong set blue rhinestones. And then I like the uh, geometric shape metal work through here. Has a really great look to it. Definitely vintage. And then we have that lovely uh, grommet work on the back telling us it's from around the 1960s. Also has, it has the look like it might be um, gold over silver, which I'm trying to remember the name of that. It's like Vermeil. Uh, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's magnetic. So magnetic means that it has some type of steel metal in it. Fine metals such as silver and gold are not magnetic. So if this was uh, gold over silver, then um, it would not be magnetic. But it's a great costume jewelry piece. Okay, so it looks like we're down to two. What a great treasure trove here. Goodness. Really great condition for the age of the pieces. All right, we have this. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Just even far away. See the shimmer on that? Nice. Okay. Now the rhinestones on the outer edge are prong set. And then we have this beautiful filigree or open work here. It look great, you know, with um, like a black jacket. And let's see, do we have a manufacturer's mark? No, we do not. But again, the grommet on the back, all the grommets helping us date the piece. 
just lovely just beautiful piece all right cool all right so this is our last one let's see what it looks like Ooh, i see purple look at that oh wow look at that oh yeah that is gorgeous like a purple snowflake look at that Look, and all those stones are prong set except for the ones right around here. It has a beautiful open work. A little bit different on the back. It does have some grommets. So let's look. Here's the grommets kind of hidden by these extra floral shape pieces. And look at the dimensions on that. Beautiful vintage pin. So I'm super happy with my purchase from eBay. Just lovely um, pens. Each one has unique features to it and I'm just very, very happy. I will be listing these on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. Also, some of these will end up on Etsy as well. Now, I do use a listing service called List Perfectly that helps me cross list to all of these different platforms. If you want to learn more about that, I do have a video in the description below that will give you more information about that. Now, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like and then hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.